Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is a special next 24 hours love and general situationship reading for you, Cancer. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today is for the Cancer friends out there. What can I get for Cancer, please? What is the love message and general situationship message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for you, Cancer, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And of course, Cancer, if you would like to further support my channel, I invite you to check out the description box below. It will have the details of my website. The website, we do send out newsletter about astrology, new moon, full moon, and also we send out bonus reading. So if you want to be included in the newsletter when the bonus reading is available, please, I invite you to, um, you know, to subscribe in our newsletter via the website, okay, sunshine-tv.com, all right? So that is me. This is your next 24 hours reading. Let's see what's coming towards you. Okay, what's the message for you? Let me just shuffle this one more time. One more time for Cancer. Okay. You got five of wands, four of wands, the queen of cups. I feel like there's a lot of to-dos. Yeah, there's a lot of competing priority, Cancer, um, at home, at work. And also, you've been wanting to spend some time alone. Queen of cups. I feel like this is you, queen of cups, you know? you have you have experienced a lot of i'd say up and down this 2021 and as much as you would like to spend time with family and friends i feel like your your energy is low you haven't really been you haven't really been in touch with yourself queen, queen of cups it's the queen of emotions like you haven't really you haven't really asked yourself how are you you've been really out and about and um connecting with the world and with friends and looking after people you know there's a lot of energy coming from you where you look after other people but you don't look after yourself okay yeah seven of swords like you've been you've been carrying a lot of weight on your shoulder because you've been so giving you've been so You've been so overprotective or over caring, or you look after so much with a lot of people around you. Okay. That there's a lot of vibe in here, Cancer, where it's kind of reminding you, you give so much to the world for your family or friends that you're forgetting that inner cancer, that soul inside of you that's that is needing nourishing, Queen of Cups. Okay. It's kind of this weekend, it's telling you to you know, spend some quiet time and connect with yourself. There's some emotions, repressed emotions that you have not been in touch with. You know, for some of you, there are a lot of happy moments or some sort of feelings that you want to understand and you could not find that time for yourself because of competing a lot, a lot of competition about helping. Your energy, um, Cancer, it's outward. You know, maybe find a time this week to go inward queen of cups you know the queen of cups in here you can sit you know in the beach or somewhere out there where you can have coffee and wonder and diary and journal and think about your moment yeah find your moment your your soul um your energy your energy your energy um cancer is looking for a moment a time for you just you all about you okay i hope you can schedule that all right and then it's a second reading is you get the ace of swords the devil card okay so for some of you guys you've been dealing with no reply no respond okay you've been dealing with a no reply no, this is not good news no respond no reply like it's I'm getting like, you know, this is, this is like, you know, you're, you're coming to a point where Ace of Swords, the Devil card, Devil card, I don't like this. And this is the center of your reading. It means that there's, 
it means that there is a behind, there's some dark energy or behind the scene. It's There's a two of cups in here. You'll take charge, okay? There, You don't get a call back. You don't, no call, no apology, no text. And Ace of Swords. Mm, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You got to talk to them. Yeah, there, there is, it could be friend, it could be lover, but you really have to talk to this person. The more you do not talk to this person, the more things get escalated or the more secondhand information is going to spread. You're gonna you're gonna create your own opinion. They're gonna create their own opinion. But if you pick up the po phone, like instead of waiting for a reply back or a text, why don't you just call them? I feel like over the next, like this is Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles, you know. Two of Cups. There's a reconciliation. Things will be like I'm 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 this is good. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, you know, one call away, yeah. Instead of text, you know, be personal. And it will sort things out. There, there is a relationship, okay? There is a personal relationship that you are involved with, Cancer. And it's a quarrel. And it's very impersonal. You know, the the quarrel or the issue, it's left out via a text message or SMS. It would be better to just pick up the phone because if one of you pick up the phone or talk face-to-face, -face, the outcome is a solid reconciliation, a new beginning, and two of cups. Everything is going to be back to normal. Yeah, back at one, back to normal. So... The intuitive is telling you that, hey, it's complicated if you text. Just call. And you'll be surprised of it's different when you text versus you call. There's more feelings. The voice, you will feel the intensity, the seriousness, and the authenticity for some of you guys. It could also be personal. So if you've got a choice, call versus text. Okay, You're going to be invited for some sort of discussion or... Um, conversation make it personal okay and then um yeah okay then um okay the next reading is you've got the three of swords mm. you know there is some sort of third party three of swords page of swords in the reverse yeah eight of wands ace of cups you know the, the Three of Swords, okay, this is not an easy, this is not, this energy is not easy to deal with, okay? You could be involved in a third party situation. When I say third party, it doesn't mean that it's like a lover, a lover third party. It could also be, um, you know, third third party also is, this, this Three of Swords, this energy this is not just about love and third party. The three of swords. Because I'm trying to pick up a more general energy in here. Um, the three of swords is also an energy of betrayal. Or multiple people involved in a you know, sword. Um, complicated. This is, I mean, look at, look at the three sword. It is strike in one heart. So... You could be involved, Cancer, where it is really complicated. Okay, you're involved in something complicated. And then the Page of Swords, you know, like, this is Three of Swords. And then there's another Page of Swords in here. So look at that. L look at the animation. Like, this is the party. And then there's an outsider who's trying to get in. So maybe you're involved in a situation where... It's already conflict, like there's already a conflict and someone is trying to get it more complicated. You know, Eight of Wands is kind of advising you that it's already complicated, so get out of there. You know, it, there is an overlapping. If the more people are involved, the more it gets complicated, you know. I'm also hearing the word, they are adult. So Eight of Pentacles, mind your own business for some of you guys. Yeah. 
you cannot save the world yeah so for some of you guys you might be involved in a situation where you've got to choose you've got to pick or there's some sort of situation where you should you should be there but not should be there the more you get involved the more you get involved yourself the the more people um the more people who be nosy okay this because this three of swords it's already complicated and then more sword it just it it just makes it the, situ the situation more complicated so you could be involved in a situation where it's already complicated and it gets more complicated because there's a lot of nosy energy being nosy like um overlapping people and energy who gives their opinion who butts in you know like it mind your own business like um, if if this is you you know a lot of people trying to be nosy with you or micromanaging you mind your own business because the more people involved the more it gets complicated because a lot of unsolicited advice yeah and i'm seeing 11 11 when i say that so you know the 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 lesser people involved the more it's gonna be fixed you know i feel like it's gonna it's gonna this is up until christmas so step out of that complexity because whoever it is it's better to mind your own business and you kind of have to be in your boundary. They are adult and they could speak for themselves or they could solve the problem themselves. Something like that. Save your time. Something like that. Okay? So, this is your reading. Thank you, Cancer, for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. It's a pleasure having you today. If you would like to further connect with me, I invite you, please, Cancer, to go to my website and also subscribe in our blog. We do send out bonus reading in there. So I hope to see you there. And I'll see you soon again, guys. We will be uploading the mid-month reading. And um, it's coming very soon. So click the bell and click subscribe. You have a wonderful day and, ha and have a nice weekend. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.